The Vision Strikers here oh. on the offense. Okay. Immediately a Sage Wall over here at the entrance. Yeah, they're going to counter wall, boost themselves up over the top. <laughs> right as Vincy tries to go for that reload. Good timing as RB will just go ahead and blast pack himself up into heaven to try to gain control. The flash from Stax is perfect. That's the first blood coming through. And the spike is already planted. You know, a 15 second round before the spike gets planted. Uh, Vision Striker is going quick. I absolutely love the Sage Wall to negate the other Sage Wall and pop right over with the boost here. Uh, this, the spike is still ticking away right now. It is a three versus four here. The angles here are pretty good for Vision Strikers. Oh. One kill over there. Stax takes out Godlike. Another one and a headshot there on Axie. I can't believe he actually got the reload off. I thought he was going to be dead to rights, but they just cannot make it happen. Don't push him fast enough. He gets himself back into that dark cover and then gets the surprise shot for the extra headshot and echo. I mean, what do you do? Yeah, this turret does all the work. I mean, it's basically impossible. Okay, he missed a shot on the cross. He's going to try to trade it out. It doesn't have... Plugging the entrance there with the Sage Wall. Spike is going to go down here. It is a four versus five. However, the angles here, less than ideal. They'll probably have to come through Heaven or try to shoot down that Spike Wall, which, of course, having only pistols is quite a headache. So, Heaven it's going to be. They're going to try to tiptoe in here from this angle right now. Oh. Coming down. Paranoia catches two, and TS just puts himself right in front of Glow's barrel. Goes ahead, just eats that bullet. Echo with his Spectre will manage to find one as Ritzy does get taken down, but now it's going to be a 2v3 for the attempt. Zest hanging back in this corner. Echo with the kill right there. Still enough time on the uh, spike. They could maybe get a defuse, but it's not going to be easy. The only Last remainder backs. here is that. In his hands, just continuing the jiggle around the corner. Throws out the blast pack as they want to pull back. Flow well into the back here with King. Manages to find Echo. And now TNL, you know, pretty much surrounded. They're going to push down the ramp. Do manage to find one. RB responds in kind. The headshot of his own onto Ritzy. Getting that punish. Turret taken out over here. Very difficult situation right now for TNL. Uh, the spread here is super difficult to deal with. You can see that there's just a Vision Strikers player at every corner here, not close together. Though even if they were to win every gunfight, it would take so much time. Would they even be able to defuse a spike? I'm not so sure. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that. that's where we're going to see the pullback here. Exe and Godlike just looking to hold on to their rifles. All the rest of Vision Strikers will be able to nearly the half HP. Healing Orb was used to Exe to top him up. And Echo! Oh, that's the Sheriff! That's why you have to show respect! He can't quite line up the third one, but does manage to find two. That's quite a lot of damage dealt now to Vision Strikers as they push in to this B site. Now they're going to have to try to get the spike over here. We've got the Sage just around the corner coming out. Rizzy does get the kill on Stax. Glow returns that with the Phantom killing off Rizzy. The wraparound from behind, though. TS comes in off the flank. Can't quite line it up to finish off Glow. At least I in the oh. site here. And we've got uh, the Rays coming in. RB uh -oh. with the nuke takes Exe out. Manages to find him. Avoids that boom bot as well. Use his to go ahead and clear the rest of Heaven. It's a good little aggressive take. That's the A site. Again, this is you know a curveball being tossed at TNL. They don't necessarily anticipate that Vision Strikers is going to go hard at the paint like this right off the bat. And they find you know one of the most valuable people that you can take away from TNL in XE. TS still does have this operator. He's sitting in heaven, but you know that Vision Strikers is not going to give him line of sight to really capitalize on this gun. So it, it really comes down to TS to putting himself in good positions to actually utilize this operator. They'll still, if he's able to do it. Okay, we have the uh, Rays rotating back over here. Great blind oh. there. St Stax getting all the kills. Unreal. Now it's just TS. Four. Not even anymore. Three people in position, but is that going to be good enough? Paranoia does yeah. get chucked through. This, Showstopper drawn out. This could be uh, actually doable here for TNL. We're going to see. RB, though, oh. takes out two players in the blink of an eye. Gets rid of the teleport as well. Or not the teleport, you know, from the shadows. We've got the spike going down now as three of our TNL players are scrambling. Uh, they're going to have to deal with the Sage Wall here, which has clogged up a decent amount of their ability to get over to ramps. They could try to gump down here from heaven, but look at the positional play here from Vision Strikers. They're going to hang back. They're going to run the clock like they do so well. It's great TP across from Glow. Throws down the dark cover as well. So now they have to play from screens yet again, much like we just saw in that last round. So they are funneling them into one location. Paranoia goes through. Our beat does get clipped by that, as does King. King, however, still does manage to find one. And they have Zest for the crossfire. They identify where Echo is at. He's the last one. Does manage to take down our beat. Does find Zest suddenly. Looking a little bit more doable, but stacks. Is still sitting at two. So he has been the top fragger for them. So there's going to be TS finally putting one on the board. We've got the lockdown that was used back there. Keep in mind, there's no Sova on either team here. So we don't have the same, uh, you know, kind of counterplay that we've had before. There's Stacks getting the headshot there on TS. Now raining down in from heaven and getting ready to plant the spike here at the B site. 
Yep, so Lockdown used over at A just to try to draw more attention from TNL to that site while the spike gets rotated from Heaven. They get the plant. Wall is broken uh, up at the Heaven stairs, so they can have XE push through that angle, but with the res coming in, it is a 4v5. They have rifles in their hands, but the question is, can they just aim them and shoot them well enough? Yeah, so Spike is basically planted over here for the B garage. This is not a site where they're going to try to occupy every corner of B. Instead, they're going to hang back and basically burn through Sorry, utility, God. making the diffuse impossible. As we're seeing here with the Rolling Thunder, one of oh. many possible interruptions on a Spike diffuse. Okay, well, Counter Rolling Thunder does come through. Showstopper from RB is available. Jumps up, chucks a rocket out. Doesn't get the hit. Glow will find Echo and with King on this flank. Yeah, it's just it's just not even possible. Can he get the final kill is the question. The answer is going to be yes for you right now. But again, the spike's going to be going down again. They have to try and retake a site. All right, so they're hanging back. This is everybody pretty much on lower with the exception of the Omen uh, over here not far away from sewers. Once again, a push in here through screens. And Paranoia use that. That draws out the Aftershock and King just peeks with it. So it's going to be helping to obscure a little bit of their vision. Does get traded out by Echo with that Bulldog, as he is now the last one alive. Fault line doesn't clip onto him. Gets a bit of damage here on the stacks as the Dark Cover comes down, pushes the corner, just sprays wildly. Manages to find the kill, and suddenly we do have a 1v1. Is he going to be able to get it, though? He's oh. firing shots through. It looks like the defuse He's going, going to be sticking for work. it. Glow just doesn't try to punish. Pros don't fake, as we often... But now they'll get the call. Yeah, the spike is being planted. Four seconds to spare as that does go down. Showstopper is out from X. He gets blinded. Waits for his moment. Decides to try to clear the back site, but there's nobody sitting over there. Glow in the meantime, lurking from behind, is looking to catch them off guard in heaven. And we see Stacks now pull back into back site since the Rays has burned through the oh. ulti. They're trying to push this issue. Okay, they drop down, rotate through Alley to wait out the lockdown. Yeah, Alley is absolutely a safe position to be. You're out of lockdown range in that spot over here. The spike is ticking away. We just have Stacks with a kill on Echo. Godlike returns that, taking Stacks out. Glow, Godlike picked off Exy now, killing off Glow. Spike still ticking, time running out. Taps it and says, yeah, there's just not enough. Patiently oh. hanging back, gonna come around the stage wall just now. Flash point does go out, does manage to find him, but it stacks all his lonesome, completely surrounded. They do take him out, and now it's the retake 3v5 for Vision Strikers. This is looking excellent for TNL. Much harder with a 5 versus 3 for the defending team to retake in a pistol round specifically. Oh, push around the corner. Glow does get dinked. Falls down to 47 health, but comes out on top of Echo. Still a lot more that needs to be done. Okay. Oh. Zest comes down. Uh, Zest now picked off by Godlike Kill, getting the headshot there oh, no. onto Exe. 47 health apiece. Godlike with 25. They find Glow. It all comes down to King. He presses lower A. Yeah, they press through the dark cover, no fear. Suspect that that's going to be coming out off a rotation. RB spraying through, does manage to find one. Throws out the boom body, even a bit greedy, but as they just jump right on top of him, Rizzi will get exploded to death. Stacks managing to find one. Exe now with 22 HP. I just don't know if they're going to even have time to get the plant up here. You can see right now Vision Strikers hanging back. They know behind the large pillar. Uh, and the screen down there, which they can fire through. All they've got to do is run the clock. There's still a minute left. Right now, TNL itching to try to get the spike plant down. Dark cover out. XC hiding in one. They still do manage to find Echo. As he pushes forward, XC playing around the side. Gets rid of stacks. Needs to do a hell of a lot more than that, though. And Zest follows suit. King's still up here in heaven. Going to be able to peek around this corner where I think it's very possible Vision Strikers may think it's going to be empty. Yeah, I was going to say, he can see the feet. Good placement there of the dark cover. Allows him to get that early little read. Zest, however, still will fall. Sentry gets set up, and it seems like Vision Strikers are suspecting the push towards A through ropes, though, so the read is going to be absolutely correct. This will draw RB back out of a main, then around towards ramps, perhaps. Yeah, you can see King here oh, taking some no. bears. So many angles you can take. Um, and it looks like it's, in fact, going to be an attack in here to B. Wow, nasty shot from Zest right before the flash fully comes through. Does get rid of TS. Still going to be four members strong, but RP is on the flank. Comes out from mid, finds one. Zest will claim another. And yeah. now all of a sudden, where it was looking pretty doable, it is just Echo all on his lonesome. <laughs> Spray paints the thumbs up there. I got this, guys. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm Put that one upside down. Uh, I'm, uh, catch him off guard on the second. You'll see uh, you know, a round like this when it seems like all hope is lost is they're going to attack in the same way they did in the first uh, round and the other round that they actually won back there. <laughs> 
uh, going into A. Uh -oh. And I think they just <gasps> Oh my this. god, RP! Puts himself straight in there. The double blast back into the showstopper. What a style. He's going to get planted default and here behind them in boxes. This is a very clean A side entry here. They're going to get the spike. They'll get the defensive positions in the pistol round that they want. It's going to be up to Vision Strikers to infiltrate and try to reclaim this. And TNL. Can, can they hold it off? And now oh, it's going down. Flashes come out. They'll drop down looking for hell. Frenzy line up there. King's going to be the one to find the kill. Pull back away from the fault line. King finds two just off screen. RB tapping the bomb. Finally do get rid of King, but RB's just going to go straight back over to this one. Eight HP remaining. XE creeping through. RB's all on his lonesome. Gets it to half, but Echo comes out on top with four. Sky here to defend. So again, easy entry over here. The Breach should be able to plant behind uh, the crates. And uh, smoking up in heaven here, the sky is going to have a difficult time trying to get any sights and shots off here in what is a five versus three. Godlike spotting one. Will get clipped actually from this flank. Wasn't really ready for that one. Stax finds a headshot. King follows up as well. And oh, do we just actually see this thrifty victory coming through for Vision Strikers? Ritzy still quite healthy, still with the Spectre in hand. Sprays through one. Glow takes him down. Dark cover now thrown out. It's here on short. Dark Glow. comes in, spots him. Diffuse halfway done. That's going to give him a lot more room here. These shots oh. not quite connecting until they finally... Uh, several angles of attack here as Vision Strikers is going to be coming from C long as well as their side. Crucially, Echo, if he can hold this down, it would be huge. Going to see both owls kind of passing in the night. <laughs> Looking for... Yep, there we go. Spots Glow, gets the dart through. Yeah, you and can't he can wall bank the, through there. Yeah, so he he's can just hold both of them at bay now. All right, he's going to be a little bit more forward here after getting the paranoia to, to connected with him here. Godlike gets the kill immediately on King. Stack takes out Godlike as well as Echo. Oh. Just it's all on Ritzy now. Uh, not impossible here. Oh, well, they get the spot on him. Stack's continuing to push, and with Zeth on the angle, you know. Yeah, they, yes. Bolt line goes through. Blind's coming out. Stacks does get blind for a moment, but as soon as that faints, manages to find one, now finds two, tries to line up a third, but cannot do so. Ritzy will cut him down. 2v3 as a spike gets planted. Zest makes his way up here through short, finds one. Evening up the odds. Recon not going to be able to find anything, and Glow falls down to 10 HP. It's a great headshot, however, as the shock dart gets lobbed up over the top. Doesn't get the damage to hit, though, as Ritzy... Will still be in this. Cannot flick to the side fast enough, though. Was anticipating Glow from the left. He comes from TNL as crap. Oh, stacks. Catches XE a little bit off guard, though. Now it's going to be Seekers moving forward. Dash down, <laughs> right click in. TS does manage to find the kill. Picks up the Vandal. King, however, holding things down from hell. Gets the spike dropped on the ground. Finds TS up over top of the box. Can he get the last one here for the quad kill? It's going to be no, because Zest is ready. All up into C. There's an Omen, a Silva ready for the fight. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so they're going to be looking to take the C site and then try to have the Silva potentially along to defend with a Hunter's Fury. You manage to find two. Zest and King do fall. Glow, however, still in the back site. Finds four. And there's the shutdown on the attempt. Unpredictable, excuse me, position yeah. each time around here, so they really don't know what angles to peek. Cool. Well... Stax finds one on the entry, so already giving them the man advantage as they look to retake. XE, however, will go ahead and equalize that. So this is a plant one. on B to the corner side uh, towards A here. And I actually, okay. we don't normally see a plant set up like this, so this is kind of novel here from TNL. I don't know how well it's going to work, but right now it's not going bad. It's a four versus three. Zest badly injured. This could absolutely be a round that could make this a six to three with a victory for TNL. It definitely could be. They, I mean, they have a hundred sphere. They have a showstopper to maybe try to break things open. As Zest creeps his way in the back side, but he's just so very low that Ritzy will finish him off. Now the hundred sphere he comes in. RB trying to lunge his way into the back of the blast packs to get that rocket out. Will not manage to do so. Glow finding one, just trying to make this as costly as possible. But that's as good as it's going to get. And uh, as well as RB here at two different angles here to try to make this nearly impossible for a team to come in. Oh. take the fight they want. Nate's still looking pretty good, though! He's gonna get three with it! Are you joking? They couldn't run away fast enough. They break down the defenses at A, but Arby from the grave, mar giving me martyrdom vibes from, you know, modern warfare, <laughs> takes them out. They all fall down, and it's just Echo left alive. The paranoia comes crashing in. Glow will not be able to get him on the drop shot, but King is there on the re-peak just to get onto the corner. 
start the plan. Blind comes in. Hunter's Fury does manage to find TS. Yeah, but we'll also nuke TS, their jet, in the process. Oh. Making this, uh, you know, one player less. B is a much more reclaimable spike site than the rest. Oh, they did not get that plant off in time. Oh, they yes. did not. I'm sorry. Excellent he died fashion. just a yeah. moment before. Now Zest on the flank finds Ritzy. Xy dead off screen. Two playing up through the front at main, but there is the lockdown. They might not even really need that to go off. They know exactly where Godlike is at. Stack's just playing the corner. Not quite prepared for it, but the rest of the team are. Nine to three on the half. And it looks like they're all going to be coming through this hall here. Perhaps the Silva will try to come oh, through the connector. Oh, maybe there's going to be some more huge nade of value. Does not happen. Flash going to expire. Glow trying to out duel Xy. Cannot do so. Does fall as RB desperately tries to get himself here yeah. into the cubby. Now, this is a plant here for C Long. So the idea is not that they try to hold the site, but instead try to fire um, shots in there. They try to use their utility to delay the defuse. And it may actually not work here. We got to see if they can get this done here. They're on it. Yeah, this is going to be the cleanup. So they do manage to take them out with three members left standing. A good lock off B, at least vision-wise, for a little bit. And we're going to go for it. what looks to be a B plant here. The dark cover kind of a half-half uh, blinding here. Oh, TS. Oh, my aggro. God. Dashes up and over top of them, and that's just going to be the cleanup. They all get mowed I mean, down. Zest is the only one left alive. <laughs> one of the coolest jet peaks ever to go into the dark cover and you uh, take full advantage of the high ceiling there to pop out and create full ambiguity. Uh, actually, to do much. And so now they're here, the spike is planted, and it's going to be up to uh, TNL to try to reclaim, to try to get some position. And again, it's going to be the C long plant here, where they're going to be hanging back. They're not going to be trying to fight over the entry points of C, but instead trying to force a defuse to be basically impossible here by interfering via shots or utility. Pink finding one, tries to get that Nanoswarm chucked out, doesn't manage to do so, and Echo does manage to clean up too. Three members left standing, however. Now two, as I say that, RB does fall. Oh, They're onto the spike. Zach's trying to go for the flank. Hunter's Fury to try and delay. Oh but it's they're just... still on it. They stick it. Yeah. They get the clean up. He will kill Echo off in the end. Tries to reload as they do hunt forward for him. They're not going for the crossfire setup, though. Blind does come through. Paranoia clips him. As RB jumps up, manages to find him in the corner. Takes him down, pushes the other. As Echo does fall. Echo takes one down with him, so does manage to find Zest. Spike now going to be planted, and it's going to be a man advantage here for Vision Strikers. Yeah, only three players remaining here for TNL. They're going to try to come in here. We've got the turret set up above the box. Everybody hanging out. This flank from Xy, though, could be huge. Manages to find one. There's Glow gone, but he pulls out the boom bot. The timing just so very poor as RB will just spray through the rest of them. Vision Strikers. They stop the bleeding, they could put another round on it would be my assumption, but instead, Xy actually played it patiently and does manage to find him as Glow is pushing past. Showstopper, Chuck out, takes him down to half, but here's the returning Showstopper, and Xy comes out on top, follows up for a third kill, the headshot there on a stacks. Zest finds one, but, oh no. insane play there. Uh, as now it is just Zest remaining in this game. TNL, again, Great play overall here. I'm not sure what the plans for Zest are going to be, but it's hard to imagine that this could ever be a win with the way this has gone so far. And so this should be the eighth win on the board here for TNL, nipping at the heels of Vision Strikers. He's doing a good job. It looks like... Oh, okay. Well, we'll push out as Xy will get... Long plan once more. Are they going to try to hold it this time, or are they going to go back into C long It looks like this time they're going to go for a much more straightforward defense. Don't have that Hunter's Fury to try to rely on. They could just try to delay a little bit, then throw down this lockdown, uh, would it, which would at least force Hunter's Fury from Echo. See if they feel the need to try to do that. Glow for now just going to be sitting here. Yeah, lockdown will come out. There's Xy gone. Shock Dart finds Zest. Hunter's Fury will get rid of the lockdown here at the end, but with the forward hold here from the rest of the Vision Strikers, this should be an easy cleanup. It's just Echo by himself. Stax gets the final blow. 11 to her without being blindsided by a Bucky around the corner. And so they come in. Immediately, RB is picked up by Xy. King takes out Xy as well, though. A bit of a bloodbath here. Back and forth. The two for two over on the C side as the spike starts to get planted here by Stax. 3v3, certainly a winnable situation. Oh. This plant does go off moments before the Rolling Thunder crashes through. But look at the cleanup. Now it's just King left alone. He's sitting in the cubby at the moment with the Phantom in hand. 
Here's the tap, the aftershock to clear the angle. Pushes out of the smoke. Doesn't know that he's getting these shots registered. They cannot follow up for any additional kills. So TNL holding on by a thread. Do get a ninth round on the board. A lot of the other teams that we have here in Korea, when they do go for C, they try to actually hold it. They try to occupy C versus trying to fire into C after the spike plant. They're going to be coming here from A-Long as well, and they basically push the Jet back out of this oh. position. RB coming here, firing through the crate, getting a kill there on TS, and then another one on the Godlike. Runs out of bullets, gets himself into hell, however, and King is there for the support, so Ritzy does fall. Hunter's Fury from Echo up top is trying to line it up. He is now all on his lonesome, and he needs to clutch this 1v5. RB getting topped back up by stacks, and this is not looking winnable. Spamming through the wall, just trying to get the kill. He will reveal himself at that.